So I don't know why, but I guess Angel, who's a transsexual, is allowed to be upstairs in the, his his room sleeping today. And me, who's, um, you know, monthly is happening, I can't go up there. They have them locked. We have to ask permission to go up there. My locker was unlocked when I got upstairs, but it was like I couldn't remember if I locked it or not. And so when applications ends, this absent-mindedness will go. Okay, and I want to show you, this is from August uh, 2020. This is how sunburned I was from being, um, from being, oh, this isn't an actual, from being exposed to the sun. The reason why I look so youthful, I'm 46 years old. The reason why I look so youthful is because I stay, I do my best to stay out of the sun. Um, this I was told is a broken capillary that sometimes doesn't heal because of age. I don't know if it's skin cancer or not. I don't want to, I don't want to take ownership of it or even worry about it. It isn't. And that's that. But I mean, you see how, um, dark I was and, and also how, um, how thin I was. I, I have the ability to gain and lose weight pretty quickly, so I'm not worried about you know needing to lose weight. I really need to relax and rest up. I carried 40 pounds on my back for a good two years, and before that it was around 30. So I, I acquired more things, and I'm probably taking away and adding here and there. But it was a. I went to my family doctor and had it weighed and it was around 40 pounds, like 43 pounds that day. And that was just with, um, I mean, it's so easy to, to be, if you're a homeless woman, to carry leggings and you purchase them and if they get really unmanageable, you throw them out. If, it's not that I would ever encourage homelessness, but if you have to compromise who you are mm -hmm. in order to have a place to live, it helps to get at least a little bit of assistance knowing that um, it's best to be smart where you're at and don't compromise who you are. I don't, I don't. As much as people may make the accusation, I don't and I haven't. But um, <coughs> this was a summer where I had uh, a job. I was staying in a motel. And I was prepared to pay, and I, I was prepared to pay the, the cost of a motel. And I had a part-time job, and I had uh, Social Security disability. But I don't believe that I am mentally ill. I believe it is a result of placations. And the Church of Scientology has a connection to this. Not that they do it. They aren't privy to it. They don't like it. And they, we, when, when the Father in Jesus tells me, he says, we will no longer have absent-mindedness. Many diseases will be cured, gone instantly. And a lot of accidents are placated a lot for insurance and all kinds of sick, weird reasons that people commit human rights atrocities upon somebody over. All that will be gone. 99, oh, like about, maybe about 20% of the ICD-10 will be left. The rest of it will be unnecessary. That's how shocking it is. So you could see why I'm being attacked. Um, but I go into my old way of thinking, and I'm like, I don't know why this is happening to me, and I don't feel like this should be happening to me. It shouldn't. I should be protected by my country. But instead, why? Did my country's uh, leaders placate? Is it Mike Pence? Is he is he chief chief placator, or did they pass it on to their wives? And their wives are corrupt. I don't know. But I had I had a life. I always had a car. I mean that was just a financial decision I made to turn in the keys to my car and start making better financial choices. So, you know, I just. I just believe that these placating powers don't want it to end. They're afraid of their judgment day. Their judgment day, as in, in front of a judge. <laughs> I mean, they're choosing to die if they're dying. And and I don't and I don't wonder if COVID has something to do with it. Because I mean, I'm seeing people who willingly sell themselves out get it. Would I cause it? No. But I'm allowed to I'm allowed to tell people to.
because they're always warned not to do that. I don't have the power to give it to them though. Just just to give them a warning like you think you think you you're invincible. You think you're going to get away with this. You're not. So I mean I th I go right straight to the source and what I believe this is Mike Pence. But if Biden has anything to do with it, you all need to you all need to come with the proper agreement. You put put us don't put us to death because we saw because Jesus said the blind see the lame walk and the deaf hear. And here we are, blind, sick, lame, and some of us deaf, and yet we hear, see, and know, and we're walking. So that's you, that's on you politicians. And then we're talking over the globe. So it might be a, an engram to one, or, or that we need to go clear, but just so you know, that must be, that must be what this whole connection is. And, and I'm not, and I'm not going to be called a harasser if people are stealing my, my phone's turned up missing for like three hours. And once again, absent-mindedness, I was cleaning the kitchen. I must have put them down, you know? So I don't know that anybody touched them, saw them, anything. I'm just saying, if you see any odd messages, somebody might be trying to defame my character or... I was in the middle of posting something and never got around to editing it and it went up to some site and who knows what it looks like. So I'm sorry if it looks bad, but believe me, I, tr I try my best to, especially Facebook, it gets posted and then I edit as I go. If somebody's that on top of me that they gotta know, they're not my biggest fan. Believe me, they're not my biggest fan. Have a nice day.